I really welcome the report from the RNB. It has confirmed my worries. This report is very timely because if nothing happens very soon, we'll be in a very dire situation and blind and partially sighted people will be losing out. The most worrying and shocking finding from facing blindness alone is that from 2005 to today, 43% fewer blind and partially sighted people have received the social care they need. That's 25,000 people in England. If these trends continue, no blind or partially sighted person in 10 years will receive support. Jay's got a con genetic condition called no block syndrome, which means that he's lost his right eye and could lose his left eye in the meantime. The RNOB findings worry us a lot. Um, Jay worries now about things and as a parent we worry so in 10 years time when he is meant to be out there on our own yes it's very scary and worrying. I'll be probably quite frustrated and scared really. I like to think that Jay can go to university like everyone else but I don't think that would happen because of the lack of support. Councils don't really seem to see the importance of getting in there early but it's really vital. If you're losing your sight, it's such a frightening thing to experience. You want someone there right at the beginning to say there are solutions, there are things that we can help you with and you can help yourself with. I tried to get a council to provide some assistance for me, preparing meals, helping with tidying up the flat, that kind of stuff. I had some help much earlier on, but all of a sudden that stopped. It just uh, make me feel completely a non-existing person, really. We're still members of society and can still make our contribution to society. Without sport, it's very difficult to achieve much or do much. We want the government to take action now to make sure that the care bill protects and enhances the care services to blind and partially sighted people. We want local authorities now to consider the services they're providing to blind and partially sighted people. And we want everyone to join us in our campaign to improve care services.